Oh, what is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new tutorial video about the Asa class. What I wanted to talk about today is which specialization you should use for each gun. We're going a little bit more in depth with each gun. We're going to discuss what playstyle fits each gun the best. Also, in combo with the specializations. If you want to skip to a certain gun which you're interested in, I have a timer on screen right now. Just skip to that time and you will jump right away into that gun. What the point of this video is, if you have a certain playstyle, after this video you should know which gun would fit your playstyle the best. Or if you want to grind a certain gun, you should know how to play with that gun after this video. Let's get right into the first gun. The first weapon is the Stormguerra 1.5. The fire rate with this gun is 670. The damage compared to the other assault rifles is one of the lowest. And the max size is 31, which is pretty decent. For this gun you definitely want to be in the close to medium range gun battles. With specializations you can make it better for the long range or better for the close range, but you still want to be in the medium to close range gunfights. Compared to the other assault rifles, this is definitely a gun you want to be more aggressive with. And fits the close range gun battles. The specializations for the Sturmgewehr 1.5. The Sturmgewehr 1.5 is meant to be a little bit more aggressive. And you want to be a little bit more up close with the enemy. It's more aggressive compared to the different assault guns. If you're an aggressive player, go with the left side. Because this will make you more able to win up gunfights up close. If you're a little bit more defensive and want to compete with the longer distance rifles, go with the right side. For the last two options, you can mix it up for both sides, it doesn't really matter. The Gewehr 43 has a fire rate of 300 and is semi-automatic. The damage is actually one of the highest compared to all the other assault rifles. In 99 of all your gunfights, you will be killing someone within 3 shots. The max size is 10. And the situations this gun fits the best in is for the medium to longer range gunfights. With specializations however, you can make this gun definitely better for up close, but it still always will fit the medium to long range gunfights. You also want to be a little bit more defensive with this. So if you have a defensive playstyle, definitely go with this gun. The specializations for the Gewehr 43. The Gewehr 43 is meant to be for a little bit more longer distance, for a more defensive playstyle. However, if you want to compete with the closer distance rifles, definitely go with the left side. This will make you able to be more aggressive. If you're a little bit more defensive, go with the right side. With the first option, I would definitely go with the left side no matter what, because 10% increasing of your bullet speed is not that much. Eventually, if you will just get used to your weapon, you will automatically know how fast your bullet travels and you will adjust to it automatically. Aiming down your sights. 33% fast is definitely the way to go with this gun. For these last two options, they are quite similar. Definitely take a look at which one you like more. They would fit both playstyles. The M1A1 Carbine. The damage on this gun is quite low for a semi-automatic rifle. However, the fire rate is pretty fast compared to the other ones. The max size is 16, which you can upgrade in the specialization sector. The M1A1 is really a all-round gun. You can go for close, medium to long range. You can even specialize this gun to make it better for long range or close range. If you're kind of an all-round player that likes to be in all sor sorts of situations, definitely go with the M1A1. It fits both aggressive and defensive playstyles. Specializations for the M1A1. The M1A1 is actually meant for long distance, but you can compete very well up close range. It's kind of an overall gun. If you're more aggressive, go with the left side, especially because you will get a lot more ammo for those close range situations. If you're more defensive, go with the right side. I personally would go with the left side anyways, because you get an extended mag, and it will increase almost your full mag to twice the size. The M1907 has one of the lowest damage compared to all the other assault rifles. However, it has the highest fire rate out of all of them. The max size is 16, which you can upgrade in the specializations to 21. This gun 
is by far the best gun for up close range gun battles. To medium it will still work but you soon have to tap fire and you cannot shoot the full mag right away. This will definitely fit a aggressive playstyle. What's important with this gun is, is you can actually switch the fire mode by holding triangle. This will make this gun shoot one bullet at a time and it will make it semi-automatic. This will make you be able to go for a little bit more longer distance with this gun. However, it will still be pretty weak over distance. Specializations for the M1907. The M1907 is meant to be a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more up close. So if you want to make it even better at that, go with the left side. If you want to make it be a little better for long range or picking up multiple targets, go with the right side. As this will give you a little extra in that mech, which gives you 5 extra bullets. For the last option, definitely no matter what you picked, go with the right side. As the bayonet charts in this game are not that useful, definitely go with the right side. The Turner SML. The Turner SML has a decent fire rate from 360, which is quite good for a semi-automatic rifle. You can upgrade this in the specializations to where it will fit a more close range gun battle. The max size is 10, which you can also upgrade in the specialization sector. This gun will definitely fit close to medium range gun battles. For long distance, it becomes quite weak and the damage drop is quite bad. So for a semi-automatic, you definitely want to be in the medium to close range gun battles and it's actually quite an aggressive gun to play with. Because up close, it becomes a th three shot hit and with a fast trigger finger, you will definitely be outgunning a lot of guns up close. Specialization for the Turner SMLE. Turner SMLE is actually surprisingly a up close gun. You want to be more aggressive with this gun, have a little more aggressive playstyle. If you're more aggressive, definitely go with the left side. If you're defensive, go with the right side. I personally definitely would go with the left side no matter what because it will give you an extended mag which gives you twice as much ammo as you normally would have. The STG-44 has a fire rate of 600 which is pretty decent, it's not the fastest, it's not the slowest. The damage however is actually quite weak on this gun. Most of your kills will be within 5 shots. The mag size is 31 and you want to be playing this gun for, for close to medium range. Up close, however, you won't be outgunning a lot of guns, so you kind of want to keep your distance a little bit. In your specialization sector, you can definitely make this gun work a little bit more up distance, which makes this gun a little bit more all-round, fits a lot of playstyles. You can be aggressive and you can be defensive with this gun, however, up long distance, you will lose a lot of gunfights, and up very close, it's the same thing. So definitely go for the medium range gun gunfights or playstyle. The STG-44 is meant to be a little bit more aggressive to the medium range type of gunfights. You won't be getting long distance kills with this gun. If you're more aggressive and want to make this gun even more aggressive than it already is, go with the left side. This will make you win more gunfights up close. If you want to make it compatible with the more longer distance rifles, definitely go with the right side. Both options I find very good and very useful. The Selps Ladder 1916 has a fire rate of 225, which is actually one of the slowest out of all assault rifles. But the damage is quite high. You will 99% of all your kills will be within three shots, which make this gun very lethal. The max size is 26, which is really good for a semi-automatic rifle that kills within three shots. For the playstyle, you want to be encountering more to medium to long range gun battles. This gun doesn't work that well up close because the fire rate is really slow and you cannot upgrade the hip fire. So keep your distance from enemies and there in those situations this gun will definitely perform the best way. The damage drop on this gun is not that bad so up long distance you will still be getting the 3 shot kills. For a playstyle this definitely fits a more defensive type of playstyle. You can be aggressive with it but it makes it a lot more harder and it doesn't fit this gun that well. Specializations for the self slider. With specializations for the self slider, you actually want to be taking a good look as they are a little bit mixed up. If you want to be more aggressive, go with the right side first in the first option, then pick these two left sides, and for the last option, go with the right side again. For more defensive play, 
you go first with the left side then pick the two on the right side and go with the bipod if you want to be really defensive. Personally for the last option I would definitely go with the right side as this will make your gun more accurate when you're stationary and laying down is never really a good option in battlefield. For the first option I would definitely go with the right side as well because this will increase your opportunities to win gunfights up close. 10% faster bullets is not that much and I personally not find the Gewehr 1.5 has a fire rate of 360, which is decent but not the fastest out of the semi-automatic rifles. The damage is quite low for a semi-automatic rifle compared to the other ones. The max size however is quite good, it's 31. This gun can kill within 4 to 5 shots and fits the medium range gun battles. Up close you will be losing, rate of fire isn't that fast and it's semi-automatic plus the damage is quite low. On distance you will lose as well because you lose the recoil and it becomes quite inaccurate. So you want to be keeping your distance but not too much with this gun. That's why this gun also fits a little more defensive type of playstyle. You can be aggressive with it. I wouldn't say it's all round but it fits the medium type of gun battles. Ligware 1.5 Ligware 1.5 is this odd gun where there are perfect situations on the medium type of range but you definitely don't want to be up close or too long distance as the gun becomes really weak. However, if you want to make this gun be a little bit more functional up close, go with the left side. If you want to make it a little bit more better on distance, go with the right side. As this gun is semi-automatic, the hip fire is never really good with it and you don't want to be up close with this gun anyways so I definitely would suggest you to go to thank you right. so much for watching today's video I hope it helped you guys a lot I hope you can start playing better after this video with the also class if you have any more questions definitely let me know in the comments I'll be sure to answer them if it didn't help also let me know in the comments thank you again for watching today's video and I hope to see you guys in the next video or live stream Bye.